Hello, and welcome to the final Synergist EDS installment regarding your Autodesk account. Today's topic is about reporting on your cloud service and product seat usage. These reporting tools or features are based on your roles that have been assigned for your Autodesk account. For example, this is an end user who has not been assigned any other roles and has accessed their Autodesk account. As you can see, they can only report on their individual cloud services. A user who is assigned the contract manager, contract owner, software coordinator, primary admin or secondary admin role, and when they log into their Autodesk account, they either see the classic user management interface or the classic and new user management interface, then they can report on their own usage for cloud services or based on the company's contract and look at the individual usage by their given users. And finally, a user who is assigned the contract owner, primary admin, or secondary admin role, and when they access their Autodesk account, they only see the new look for user management as shown here. Then they can report on their own or company contract cloud uses and look at the individual uses by their given user. In addition, they also have the ability to report on the product seat usage, which we'll talk about here shortly. Some key factors about your cloud credits. Cloud credits are needed for certain Autodesk tasks that require cloud services. But not every cloud-based interface that Autodesk offers require the use of the cloud credit. Also, when a new Autodesk user account is created, a user is automatically assigned individually 100 cloud credits. These cloud credits must be used first before the user will start using any shared cloud credits they are assigned, and these individual cloud credits cannot be transferred to anywhere else. Shared cloud credits are based on cloud credits assigned to an organization contract subscription or maintenance plan. Again, a user who belongs to an organization that has shared cloud credits, their initial free individual cloud credits must be used first before they can start using any shared cloud credits. Any cloud credits purchased by the user or through an organization subscription or maintenance plan must be used within one year of when they were purchased. If the term of the contract is less than one year, these purchased cloud credits will expire when the term does. Any unused purchased cloud credits cannot be carried over. For example, when this user logs into their Autodesk account, they are only an end user. They do not have any other roles assigned to them. And as you can see, under the reporting option, they only have the cloud service usage. So they can only look at the usage of themselves. So we're going to click on the cloud service usage. And here we can see the individual cloud credits. And as I indicated, when a user account is created, they are assigned automatically 100 free individual cloud credits. This user has used 30 of them already. If they were associated or they were given shared cloud credits, you would see another section in here associated to the shared cloud credits they are using. When I access my Autodesk account, and because I am the software coordinator for our contracts, you can see that I have the two cloud service reporting tools as I described earlier. When I click on cloud service usage, it's going to default to all usage basically my shared cloud credits that we have for our given contracts or the contracts that I'm associated to as being a software coordinator. In this example, you can see this given contract, we've already used 12 cloud credits out of it. If you want to know what cloud credits are being used or how they were used, you can expand it and see the services that use those cloud credits. In this example, Recap photo was used. All right. We can also toggle over to usage by user, and we're going to talk about that here shortly. And we can also export our cloud credits out to a CSV file. Now, if I want to look at my individual cloud credits, I'm going to toggle my view to my usage. 
There I'm going to see my individual usage. So remember I said before, when a user account is created, they are, you are given 100 free cloud credits. So you can see in my example, I've used 80 out of my 100 cloud credits. And then, based on what we've already talked about, the shared cloud credits that we have. When we toggle over to cloud service uses by user, we are going to look at our users and how they are using our shared cloud credits. For example, this given user has used those 12 cloud credits that we kind of talk about. If you want to know what, the, what those cloud credits are being used for, you can hover over that line and it will indicate the services that they have been using. When we access this Autodesk account, this user has been assigned the primary admin and only sees the new user management interface as shown here. In this condition, they have three options under reporting, seat usage, what we'll talk about here in a few seconds, and our two cloud service usage that we've already talked about. However, at any point, your Autodesk account could be updated to include the seat usage reporting for your single user subscription-based product. For example, as you can see in this image, this Autodesk account has the classic user management interface and was recently updated to include the seat usage under the reporting. So going back to seat usage, we can review or we can start reporting on our users based on when they access their products, what products they're using, and so on. However, because this account is very new, there hasn't been enough time to start gathering this data. It is important to allow some time to pass before reporting on your product usage. As I stated, our Autodesk account is too new to properly report based on how we use our products. Let's instead take a look at a training video created by Autodesk covering how to report on your product usage. This video is for admins who subscribe to products with single user access. We're introducing a new feature in your Autodesk account that will equip you with the data necessary to make better management and buying decisions. Product usage reporting. After signing in with your Autodesk ID and password, click on seat usage to see your full list of reports for subscriptions with single user access. You will see a summary of your total users who opened and used the products and collections you assigned them how many products are in use during the time frame set, and the total number of seats you've subscribed to. You can click to change the time frame from this month to 12 months to narrow in on the data you need. If you want to take a closer look at your data in an analysis tool of your choice, use the Export as CSV button in the top right corner. For grouped products like collections, you can click to dive deeper into the specific data of the products included. In this product design and manufacturing collection, you can see the products being used to get greater insight into how your team is taking advantage of your investments. Click on Buy Product to see each of the products you subscribe to broken down by number of users using each product or collection over your selected time period, and a visual preview of the last six months of usage. This will help you to get a quick snapshot of your team's productivity. Click Details of any product to see more details. You'll be able to see the total seats you've subscribed to in comparison with the total number of users that are actually using the product to help ensure your team is getting the most out of your investment. The frequency chart allows you to empower and support your team by providing you the data on how often your team is using products, frequently, moderately, or infrequently, measured by average days used per week. The final chart shows users by version. You can access this chart to avoid version conflicts and ensure team alignment. For collections, click Details to access a summary of total seats subscribed to versus total users assigned to, again, ensure that you're getting the most use out of your collection. Click on the product list to access a specific product within a collection and see the same level of detail as other products, seats versus users assigned, frequency of usage, and version overview. Make sure your team is adopting the right products to be effective for your business goals. Product usage reporting empowers you to make better purchasing and management decisions based on data to increase team productivity and align. There you have it. A look into reporting tools that are available based on your given Autodesk account roles. Have a great day.